everyone, I'm ExtraCheesy87, and this is Let's Play Starship First Departure Part 15. Last time we uh, continued our journey through the Purgatorium, the Inner Sanctum, which took a long time because I got very, 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 very lost, and there were lots of enemies, and all together, which is not a very fun time, but eventually we made it to this Inner Sanctum where we had to stop the video because things are going on pretty long. And we're confronted with this map that looks oddly familiar. My controller is not working. <laughs> God damn it. Um, wait a second, can I fix this real quick? Uh, did that? No? Okay. Oh my god. There it goes. I, I guess we'll keep rolling with this then. Assuming the recording is working. Um, where is OBS? OBS? Uh, oh, there it is. Um, yeah, I guess everything's working. We'll roll with it. It's a map of the Earth. But why is there a huge island in the middle of the Pacific Ocean? It kind of looks like a really large version of Iceland. That definitely shouldn't be there. Or should it? If you believe the old stories, there really was an island there once. The Lost Continent of Mu. Mu? But even if that was true... That sounds like a continent over here. here on Roke. And weren't they called the Moo people or something like that? Someone's there. Well, they can. No, I think they're called the Moo. We pray that you have come seeking the Eye of Truth with only the purest of intentions. Oh, it's a hologram. It is an extremely dangerous relic if left unguarded. We also pray that you have the strength to atone for the horrible mistake we made. The Eye of Truth is capable of opening gates to alternate dimensions. Yeah, that sounds uh, pretty... I can we see some, some bad things can happen with that. Own technology and the symbology endowed upon us by the runes, the natives of this planet. Oh. But before we could reach our goal, there was a disaster that ruined all of our plans. A gate was opened to the demon world, sending legions of monsters pouring into this world. And why does the demon world exist? Even that, however, was not enough to halt our experimentation. Our small band of comrades was united under one wish. We only wanted to return home to our planet. Which was Earth, I assume. I actually really don't remember any of this. Like, once we get to this point, my knowledge of the game is like zero. I vaguely remember the final boss, and that is it. So this is it. The Eye of Truth. It's pretty big. It's a, it's a pretty big honking eye, in all honesty. Don't let me walk all the way out, please. Please just teleport me out of this dungeon. That's all I can hope for. What does all this mean, Elia? Everything is going way over my head. I think the people we called the old race came to this planet from Earth, from the Moo continent. But how know about that? Doesn't seem like they came here so much as they were brought here against their will. That's true. The King of Van told us that the old race descended upon the planet as fully grown adults. Legend has it that the Moo continent sank into the sea in the wake of a meteor strike. Before that day, the stories claimed that the Mua enjoyed a vast and highly advanced civilization. So, you knew all about this and you never picked up on the fact that the people here were called the Mua? What? Yeah, I remember that. Like, apparently they have this old story and they never were able to piece that together that, huh. It's kind of yeah, odd that the they're both called the same thing. Reports on file about people being sucked into a vortex and suddenly reappearing someplace far away. There was a case of a missing child being found someplace that would have been physically impossible for him to travel to in the time he was gone. Well, maybe that's a you thing. Maybe he's just a really fast child. So you think the meteor strike caused a vortex that swallowed these people up? Those reports you mentioned were about people going from one place to another on the same planet. I never saw any reports about people hopping light years, much less going from Earth to Rogue. Oh, you got me there. But if that theory is correct, it would explain why they made something like the Eye of Truth in the first place. They just wanted to go home. 
Also, you, I just remembered, uh, the other three party members have, should have, like, no fucking clue what they're talking about, because they've never actually explained that, uh, they're from the future, or that Ilya and Ronix are from, like, a different planet, right? That's what the guy said. Like, the only time they acknowledge that is from one scene pretty well. the history handed down to the King of Lua. Where Sia says, like, is, like, what are you guys talking about when they mention something about, uh, Earth or the disease, or I can't exactly remember what it is. That's like the only the time they've nodded at the fact that they're from the future. The true path back to paradise. Like seriously, you would think CS and the other two. I mean, I guess maybe it's because technically you do not have any party members besides the main four. The eye failed to see the door to paradise, however. In its place, a door of blasphemy. Because, I mean, we're that even missing a couple party members, I and think. I know of at least two. Door. I don't know how, you, how you're supposed to get them, but I know that they exist. By the time the door was closed, the land was already near death. All we could do was lament our mistake. Like, apparently there's some old dude from, like, one of the very first areas that we missed, and there's the cat girl that you rescue. If you go back, you can do something and get her. But I don't exactly know what it was, and I don't really care, because we're just using kind of the default party anyway. They must have deeply regretted what they had done. In their eyes, their desire to get home brought doom to this planet. They wanted to make up for it somehow, but by that time, there was no turning back. So they went to the royal families and left clues in the form of lore, so it could make it down to all generations to come. Well, we'll never know the whole story. But listening to the phrases they left behind about courage and everlasting strength, you can really feel the emotions they must have had in their hearts. Yeah, well, I assume a big one was also panic, the fact that they just brought the demon lords over. Please help me out. Don't make me walk all the way back through. I have no mana. Thank you. The eye of truth. Oh, they even teleports all the way to Van? Nice. To do it. Now it is time to storm the demon world. Yes, my lord. We are told that the gate to the demon world lies in a deserted island southwest of Silverland. I believe in you. Victory will be yours before long. Who are you? Glad to see you, Vermin, are doing well. What? Astral and Muaz's defenses are pathetic as usual. Uh, is that like a demon or something? This is like a regular ash chick. I was wondering what you little rats were scheming, but I suppose I had nothing to worry about after all. <laughs> okay. I just had to make sure the mic is still working and everything, because I'm still not entirely uh, too late. sure how too late. The good it's working. The great Osmodius has already completed his new weapon. The only option all of you have left is complete, unconditional surrender. Like hell we do! We'll oh man, to the <laughs> he like summons some wind behind him too to give his cape the flappy effect. <laughs> we'll see how long that bravado lasts. Remia! Oh. Remia! Time to go inside! Oh, I got a bad feeling about this. Yes, Mom! Oh, shit. Look at that! Oh! <laughs> fuck me! What they said it with a fucking, like, ion cannon! already begun. We figured you'd like a real world example, so he's just destroyed a village. Well, you know, the village was like six fucking huts in a circle, so it wasn't that big of a, you know. He what? I mean, a regular like old world bomb could have blown that up. Bastards. Surrender at once. You have no choice. I mean, especially when like, well, I guess... Yeah, because these guys are- I keep, always forget about don't the time travel it. stuff. It's because they're from... I don't know. It, time travel is always complicates no every story just Terrible by adding news. it in there. Our gods report that the village of Durs has been destroyed in a gigantic explosion. They say there's absolutely no hope of survivors. How could this be? Organize an immediate expedition force and set up rescue operations with Silverland soldiers. 
I don't care if there's no hope. We're not going to give up on them. Yes, sir. We must storm the demon world at once. If that weapon strikes Van or Astral, it would be an utter catastrophe. And why didn't they do that again? I'm afraid you're right. Like, why didn't they just blow up one of the capital kingdoms? Asmodeus, you'll pay for this! Dude, the blue dude has, like, yet to say a fucking word since he joined the party. <laughs> I just want to let that be known. Actually, also, I think we're missing, um, the chick lady. Uh, what's her name? The one that hates the Crimson Shield man. I think she's actually all... If I can speak, I think she's also actually a party member. Did we get healed? It looks like we did. Um... The only really thing I would like to do is I wouldn't mind going back to the arena and finishing that up. Um... I mean, you can see like how old these saves are. Well, that one's not that old, but some of the others are. Because I haven't recorded this game in quite some time. Um... Well, actually, I, I recorded it a week ago, but I haven't done very much recording. Uh, basically, just been doing like a video or two a week because there's there's some reasons, but mainly uh, I have a huge backlog still. Like even after like two weeks of barely recording anything, I still have like two weeks of all the series uh, saved up. So what I think we'll do is we will cut over to whatever the arena town's name is. I think it's Tatroy. I can't remember. But we're going to go there, we're going to finish up the arena, do the last two ranks, and yeah, so see y'all there. Um, so rank A, well, we're on rank A, um, rank B was pretty easy, um, rank fucking A second fight is a goddamn mech! <laughs> what the hell? Please get stunned for all eternity. So the first round was... It was like the slime that thing that gave 10,000 XP, and that gave, that's right. a pretty huge difference. Like we we went through rank B without getting hit and killing all the enemies in like one combo, and um, now we're about to get completely destroyed in like the second round. Okay, Let's what do we go. got? We got a fucking fairy. I mean, if we can just stun lock everyone forever, we can actually win. Cause even though they do like half our HP in one hit. Okay. Well we made it to round three. Or round four. I hope you're watching, Father. It's just the fucking the Cyber Dragon kinda threw me off there. Cause I was thinking considering how easy rank B was, it was like no point in even showing rank A, but what the fuck is that? It's like the uh, the eye that sees all. Oh, we just lost. <laughs> oh, a deadly blow. Where am I? We didn't, like lose all our money, did we? Go to yeah, doesn't like it. God, Ron, I got like four levels doing that shit. So it looks like um we may not be able to do that. Has he like ever learned any more skills? Oh. He doesn't have, like, any more skills since, like, level 30. It's kind of odd. Um... And Brodick's the one that I don't even know what to give to, skill points-wise. Um... Hmm. I don't know. What about Ilya? W were we trying to give her customization? So she still needs aesthetic design. It's not way down here. Oh, she doesn't have enough. Well... Lame. Well, okay, uh, I figured I guess we, we show the fucking cyber dragon bullshit, and then the eye that instantly petrified us and killed us. That was nice and fun. Um, I mean, I guess theoretically, we probably we could give it a few more tries, but I don't really even know what the rewards for completing the arena are. Um, but honestly, it's like, I kind of like, do I need to do it now? Because can't remember if the demon world is kind of like a semi point of no return because I don't really remember past this point I mean I remember going there and you do some stuff and then some more stuff happens and then a few more things happen in the game ends basically we're definitely close to the end game I believe um but yeah so what we're gonna do is we're gonna head over to I guess Silverland I guess we need to go I don't actually know how you get to the island. 
I think... Well, basically, I'm going to meet y'all at the island, or at least the person who will take us to the island. Okay, so that was a really short trip, because I forgot at this point, every uh, sailor man will take you to every other place. So, we just had to go sit right at the Civilant, and the dude in Civilant will take us to the deserted island. Um, is there anything we need to... Let's stock up on, on curatives, yes. I completely forgot we're going to out of all that stuff. So let's go see if we can find the shop. Also, where's the uh, the hiding Christmas man? Because we actually have like a ton of money now. Is this all the same stuff? It is. Um, one thing we could do is actually buy a few of these for like purposes of customization. All of this is stuff we already have, right? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, here's here's Christmas, dude. I have like the I don't even remember if there was anything good. I certainly had like ridiculously expensive stuff. Yeah, okay. Increases the success rate of composing. Ooh, that's is that that's just a hundred thousand, right? Um Oh whoops. So is this like a one-time thing, or is this for like a continuous thing? I mean, I assume considering it's a hundred thousand gold, I would hope it's not a one-time use. Um, seriously, where is- I think they're down here, right? So we want all the blueberries, we want all the blackberries, we want- sure, take all the aqua berries, take all those. Those. Fuck, we cure the shit out of some poison. That also. I mean, I see no reason not to just. Wait, no, we don't want that. I think we've already got a bunch of those potions of might that I've yet to use because I kind of keep forgetting they exist. Um. Yeah. Do you sell anything? You just sell food. Yeah, we'll be fine. Let's go to the deserted island, to the demon realm, let's go. It's gonna take, take a couple screens to get over there, but eventually, we will let's go. Is it, is it up, or is it down? I can't remember. Yeah, it's this way. So, uh, let's go, deserted island. The demon world entrance is here? Seriously? Ronix. It's time to open the door. Oh, man. Right. They never actually gave us any specific instructions on how to... Okay, I guess that's how you use it. <laughs> okay. Please, controller. No, We're God going damn it. In here? You don't have to be scared, Millie. I'm here with you. You're right. We've got a world to save. Oh, yeah. Let's move. And we're saving it in two different timelines. We're saving it in the old timeline and in the future timeline. Oh my god, this place is interesting. Crimson Shield, you used to be a soldier of honor. What are you doing letting yourself fall to the demon world? I mean, just because he's honor. here, you don't necessarily know that he's evil. Is that all you seek? Okay, yeah, he's, he's pretty if one evil. If acquired absolute power, then what more would you need? I really probably should have looked up how you get a chickadee, since apparently I, I don't exactly get the whole thing of the Crimson Shield. You made it this far. Go ahead. Try to entertain me. Okay, well, getting a boss fight right off the bat. This is tough. Be careful, everyone. All right. Um, Operation Let. Oh my God. <laughs> Okay, Operation stun him so that he can't do anything while Millie heals us. Ah, uh, Operation seems to be uh, going fairly successful. I mean, you know, Ronix should just kill us all with a giant rock. Okay, good. Now I feel better. So we're healed. I wish that animation wasn't a thousand years long. Oh my god. Okay. What do we have? What is our, what is our big Healy? Is it... 
can't remember. What is the big Healy item? Is it this? It's like 30%, I think. Thankfully, Millie is on point with healing. There we go. Hit him, if you hit him from the back. There we go. The double team. That's nice. Oh my god. Dude, just use that every time. I healed everybody. And it still healed him for a lot, too. It does use a shit ton of MP. He's like already almost at a, a third after casting like three spells. Oh god! Please stop. <laughs> oh, we have been stunned. Sorry, everyone. Okay. Avenging fist. Um. Okay. So as soon as Ilya finishes her animation, we need to have her revive Roddick. You don't really. I mean, I would have rather you, have, you know, resurrected Roddick or something. Roddick. How do I? Uh, I always forget. Button. So resurrection elixir. Not on yourself. Granted, it looks like you're about to need it. Get a fairy light out. <laughs> Why can't those big ass fairies do something? They're like huge. Dude, he's gotta be getting close. There we go. Man, I timed that perfectly. A gale earring. I wonder if that's any good. It probably just like I'm supposed we to did it? damage. Thank you for defeating him. The one who abused my name is gone. I have no regrets. Oh, is he like a possessed or something? What are you talking about? I am Argosy, the true face of the Crimson Shield. What? So who were we fighting all this time? That was my shadow, you could say. Ooh, spooky. What are you talking about? Near the close of the Demonic Wars, I received a secret mission from the King of Silverland. But when I finally discovered the Mirror of Incarnation, the Mirror I realized of Incarnation, there was no treasure at all. The Mirror created a shadow form of my own body and used it to control my every move. I see. I used to lose all memory whenever the shadow took over, but now the shadow and myself have changed places. The shadow's gone now, isn't it? So you can make up for everything you did. No, not without the Mirror of Incarnation. And besides, I don't have long to live. Yeah, we did stab you a lot. I think I have to apologize. <laughs> Forget about it, young swordsman. This was destined to happen the moment I was caught. I mean, Roddick the is the slayer of, of a cyber dragon. But there is a more important matter at hand. Astral is in mortal danger. What? You must hurry. The Archfiend is after the oh. bladeless sword I entrusted to Lias long ago. Oh, yeah, Astral's the desert place. Wait, do we have to go back? Don't just tease me with a demon world like this. A bladeless sword? We can't afford to let his warning go to waste. Let's go back to the castle right now. Wouldn't a bladeless sword just be a hilt? Do you think we can make it back to Astral in time? Uh, absolutely not. Couldn't we use the Eye of Truth? It was made for opening oh, holes in space, wasn't it? Millie, look at the smarts on her. I suppose it's worth a shot. Yeah, we're gonna get fucking teleported to, you know, some alternate world. <laughs> that toy is a little too much for you children. Hand it over to me now, why don't you? Oh, yeah. Let's go. Uh, okay, I thought it was just rotting for a second. Not if I can help it. If you dare to stand in the way of my king's orders, I will take all of you on at once. Also, this is a great opportunity for the nothing personnel kid teleports behind you meme that I love to reference so many times. Keep focused, everyone! Okay, well, we already killed a spider chick, like, in episode 7. So I'm not too scared about how strong she is. Dude, Rodix is like addicted to the stones, man. He used to be a lightning boy, but now he's all about that stone life. This is like the one thing that he's not very good at, is fighting bosses. Oh, oh shit! Oh, she went up though. She teleported behind his nothing personnel, kid. Not a good damage. 
Oh, she's too fast. I can really use a god speed proc when she does that. There we go. We're on a roll now. I don't want to be a drag on everyone. Oh, see, Ilya learns abilities. Why don't you learn abilities, Frodic? What could that bladeless sword be? And why did the monsters want it so badly? Well, the truth is, I'll tell him, Fia. Ooh, secrets. All right, Sius. I heard that the bladeless sword was the weapon that sent the Archfiend back into his world in the Demonic Wars. He mentioned that he entrusted it to a man named Lias. Who's he? Oh yeah, because Ronix wasn't with us. I was like, what the fuck is wrong with you going senile, old man? But yeah, he wasn't with us for our astral adventures. My old man. Let's go. Oh, they even I'll put an exclamation point above Tanique's head because he wasn't here either. That's nice. Recording, right? Yes. I don't know exactly what time we're at. I think we're at about 20 or so minutes. Okay. That was, uh, very long <laughs> and awkward. Because yeah, I guess Sia still hasn't seen Lias yet. Honestly, have we even seen Lias? This is the sword that Argosy gave me during the Demonic Wars. That doesn't look like a sword at all. The bladeless sword? He wasn't kidding. This is nothing but a hilt. I, I'm gonna take a huge leap and say it's not actually a sword or a hilt. Let's assume Can it's some like for a second? some science device. Oh. Beam sword. oh shit, it's a fucking lightsaber! Holy shit! And a high powered one at that. I've never seen anything like this. Gosh, Ilya almost killed herself. She was like looking right at it. What if it popped out and. I was told it is an old race relic. He wielded it in the battle where we drove the Archfiend back into his world. So, wait, how long was the demonic. I guess they couldn't be that because he's saying we, so that means he probably participated. This is it. Our ace in the hole against Asmodeus. We've got a fucking light. Agreed. Over. It's probably the one thing he fears the most. I'm sure it'll be best in your hands then. Don't relax quite yet, though. You may have the means, but you haven't won the battle yet. A force. Well, we got two. Thank you, sir. We don't really need to, but I, mean, I guess we could use like CS or something, maybe. Assuming he can use them. See us, you really probably should go talk to Daddy Dearest. Um, your family troubles are, you know, could be easily solved. In before it's actually worse. Moment of truth. Oh my God, it's so uh, it's it's better. It's a good upgrade, but it's not like the significance of some of the other stuff we've we've gotten. Um, I, mean, I assume you guys can't use the four sword of Boom. Yeah, okay. he can use it. Could Thea use it? Yeah. So that's why they give you two. It's actually kind of nice, so that you don't have to... Because you're probably going to have two physical attackers in your party, so you don't have to, like, pick and choose between, uh... You know, it does mean your, your non-force boys are kind of useless, but or your non-sword boys. And girl, in Fia's case. Um... What do we want to do? So can Neurotic customize the force sword? into the greatest piece of weapon the world has ever known. Um, I'm gonna give it a shot. Hiya! A moon flax. Oh shit! It's worse. God damn it! <laughs> oh, I thought we'd created the most powerful item known to man, and it's worse. Lame. Uh, where's the docks? Are there docks? I think they're over this way. At the very least, take us back to Arena Town where we can uh, 
Tatroy. Wait, yeah. Ooh, this could be another good time to just try the arena again. The power of the lightsaber. I'm gonna give it one more shot. Um, at the very least, we'll get good XP out of it. She don't really need really need XP for Ilya just so that she can uh, max out her customization. I assume we're healed, are we? Well, actually, I don't know if we're healed. This may be a terrible idea. We're gonna give it one more shot. Simply because, like I said, I'm a little like I don't. No one is disappointed over her. It looks like we're fully healed. So yeah, this is the slime thing. Do we not have it equipped? No, 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 I think it's just gonna have us make us look like we're using a regular sword no matter what. Kinda sucks it doesn't actually change the... The... ...weapon he's using in battle. Okay, so is it, it's the the Let's fucking. Go. I guess it's really not a dragon that I look at. It's like a part of the game. Uh, just keep him stunned. Keep him stunned. He's really not that hard. Yeah, I don't know why I thought it was a dragon. Right. I think about it. It's a it's a cyber bird. Lame. What is this? This is like a pixie chick, right? Let's go. Oh, get god speeded, nerd. Uh, okay, one more combo should finish it. Oh, we even got the sweet lock in there. Now I have no clue how we're supposed to kill. We probably have to keep our distance. Maybe use dragon's roar. Since his stuff uh, petrifies you. Let's go. The all-seeing eye. What uh, what items did you give us? Gave us attack power and movement, right? Okay. Oh, look at that damage! There we go. All right, let's go. Okay, final round of the arena. I assume a rank is the last round. Unless there's like a secret S rank or something. Let's go. Okay, wait in the fuck. <laughs> okay, definitely. Oh, he's too fast. He's too fast. He cannot be stopped. He's too fast. You are not getting close to me. Dragon roar spam. We may not have slayed a dragon, but we have the power of what? I have a feeling we're not gonna be able to. Go, go, get in there, get in there. Move a little good luck, guys. Holy shit, Mr. Fucking Rat Man is. Hella strong. Oh, that's, that's really annoying me because I feel like we we're almost there. Uh, is that a bit more damage? Okay, what I think we might do is I'm gonna try it one more time. I mean, I guess we'll we'll just do the demon realm. We'll actually, go to it in the next video. This is probably gonna be the end of this video. Is me fucking around in the arena, so if you have no interest in that. This might be a good time to stop. Um, we're gonna give it one more shot. We're gonna heal up. What we'll do is we'll use our. We won't use our item on Dude Bro. We'll keep our attack power thing for Mr. Mouse Man. That way we can. Or whatever type of animal he was, I really couldn't exactly tell. Um. We will end up having to use more mana against the uh, Eye Man, but I think it'll. I will be able to do more total damage with our MP by using the item because it gave us a lot more damage. Oh, 
So we do have to be a little careful when it comes to these, these enemies because they do do a lot of damage and if we don't stun lock them properly, I mean, there's not really too much we have control over. But if you don't stun lock them, they do a lot of a lot of damageio. Let's go. Getting the god speed is really helpful, also as well when they don't lock. Because uh, if they block too much, then they might get an attack off. But thankfully, it didn't happen. And we're getting levels off this, so you know we're getting slightly stronger, which maybe means we have a slightly higher chance of beating. It's so we gotta be careful with this bird because he does like some attack instantly. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Well, I was. Uh, we may have to chalk this one up as a loss. That was way all right. This pixie chick will probably kill us. Unless we get a block in. Let's go. It's mana of inefficient. No, don't don't escape! Don't escape! I hit the wrong button. God damn it! All right, so here's what we'll do. I really want to get one more shot at the animal man. So what we'll do is we'll just cut to the next time we get to him. Oh shit! I forgot. I'm supposed to be recording during this. Uh, we're, we're fighting old dude. He is blocking all of our attacks. Uh, we've got in about as... Come on, come on! Uh, we can just... Oh! Oh, he's stunned! Get, get in there! Get in there! Oh, man, I just don't know if we can do it, man. I completely forgot I was... I, I stopped the recording. Cause we lost a couple times getting up there, but... Ah, oh, just... I feel like we're so close, but I don't know. Uh, all right, we just beat the dude, and we're in great condition. If we don't win this time, uh, we beat the fourth round, so we didn't beat the dude yet. We're about to fight the dude. Um, so if we don't win this time, we're gonna give up. So. First thing, do not. Oh god, please don't hit the wrong button and make me lose. Okay. Okay. Uh, Get our movement speed so that we can kite him a little more effectively. Thankfully, he has a long wind up. Or a fairly long wind up. Okay, um, get out of there, use your item, I mean it's it's HP inefficient, but it's MP efficient, come on. He's not blocking as many as he was last time, and we have more MP. He's so strong! Okay, I need to like, take a swing at me. Not like that. Come on. Oh, he's so fast. Let's go. Let's get moving. Oh, Lord of the Arena. A new challenger has emerged victorious with a convincing performance. That dude is not even special fucking dialogue. It's the same shit. It's still another Zelda knockoff? Come on, man. I mean, that is the last one, right? Maybe there is a, an S rank or something that I'm missing. Damn right you're impressed. So wait, can you, can you tell me about the ranks? Victory in rank A. Uh, doesn't mean that you can't compete again. Anyone who's won a rank A is welcome to once again compete in rank A. You will not receive any items or anything said you will receive a cash prize. Huh. Um, so wait, what did we get in our combat set? Reduces enemy defense by 30%. At least I assume that's what it was. Um. Okay, halves 
water, wind, and fire damage seems pretty good. So the key to victory, there actually, uh, we end, I made a shield, a shield off screen using blacksmithing, and it was only ten better, but that may have actually saved us because we lived, did we win with like thirty HP or something? Or maybe it was three hundred. I don't know. Um, wait. Oh, the mithril helm. Mithril greaves. Any uh. None of this stuff looks new. What was that thing we got? Did we get like an earring or something? I remember seeing that. No. Am I blind? Cause we got like a electric water or something. I don't know. Let's see. Okay, we lived at 300. So that probably didn't make the difference. Never mind. I thought we lived at like 30 or something. Cause then that may have made the difference, but. Oh yeah, also through blacksmithing, I did create a sweet-ass cloak for, uh, Millie. Compared to, like, she used to have the holy cloak, and it's, like, almost twice as good. I guess I didn't look at, did it, like, give stuff for anybody else? Doesn't look like it. Wait. That's not... But yeah, holy cloak is different than the cloak of the stars. Yeah, she, he already had that. Um, all this looks the same. Did you get any... Yeah, okay. It's not looking like we got anything besides stuff erotic. So... Um, what time are we at? We're probably... I actually have no clue because it's a separate recording. We're probably close enough to stop, so we'll do that. In next video, we will, uh... Probably just meet at the dude who takes us to the island in Silverland. Right? That's what we're supposed to do now? Yeah, because we got our four sword and everything. So, yeah. I'm XGZ87, stay tuned for the next part, and bye guys!